Okay, today I'm going to teach you what is Active Directory and how to recognize if Active Directory is installed on a Windows Server computer. So what we are looking at right now is a Windows Server. Now how do I know this? Because if you go to Start, if you go to Computer, you right click, you go to Properties, it tells you what is the operating system installed on this machine and as you can see we have Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise installed it's a 64-bit operating system the CPU is an Intel i5 uh, the memory installed is 4 gigabytes the computer name is NYCDC1 the full computer name is nycdc one contosocom and the domain to which it belongs is called contoso.com. We can also verify that this version of Windows is activated by looking at this uh, confirmation message over here. So we have verified that this is a Windows server. Now if I want to check whether or not Active Directory is installed on this, you go back to start, you go to admin tools and check for the admin tools for Active Directory. <coughs> Notice that we have Active Directory Administrative Center, Active Directory Domains and Trusts, Active Directory Module for Windows PowerShell, Active Directory Sites and Services, Active Directory Users and Computers. The first tool that we are going to learn to use is Active Directory Users and Computers. So you click on it. When you click on it, opens up the tool and as you can see, it has connected us to this domain called contoso.com. And when you install Active Directory on a Windows server, it automatically creates three things. And this is for the first time. So for the first time you install or promote a Windows Server to an Active Directory controller, <coughs> it creates a new Active Directory forest, a new Active Directory tree, and a new Active Directory domain. Three things. The name of all three will be the same. In this example, it's contoso.com. In this example, contoso.com is our Active Directory domain name, but it's also the forest name and the tree name. Now, how do I confirm this? To confirm this, we do the following. We go back to Start. We go back to Admin Tools. We go back to Active Directory Domains and Trusts. That's another Active Directory tool. And when you come here, if you right-click, notice you have the option to change the forest, I'll click on it and notice that right now we have only one forest, it's called contoso.com. So when Active Directory was installed on this Windows server, we created three things. We created the forest called contoso.com. We created an Active Directory tree, also with the same name, and we created a domain with the same name, contoso.com. In order to look at all the Active Directory objects inside this domain contoso.com, all you need to do is come to the Active Directory Users and Computers Administrative Tool. Then you go to the View menu and you select Advanced Features. When you click on Advanced Features, it displays some hidden Active Directory objects. So there are objects that are hidden from your view which are not visible in the normal view of Active Directory users and computers. In order to see these hidden Active Directory objects, you go to the view menu, you select Active Directory features, and there they are. Notice that by default, Active Directory creates the following objects in your domain. The first and foremost is called built-in. 
this is a container in which you have objects which are domain local security groups and each one of these has a purpose the description for each of these is given to you in the description column so you can go to each one and read up about the description if you want to assign this particular permission to a user in your organization you need to add that user to the corresponding active directory group okay